Hey guys, Phil here at Wood Street Farm. It is finally time for us to finish leveling up this uh, corral area, this cattle pen that we demolished on the property. If this is your first time checking us out, we're uh, Christmas Tree Farm. We're setting up a tree lot here just for our second season. Had a little mishap with the tractor while I was d demolishing this. I um, lost all the coolant in the tractor, so I had to pause what I was doing the other day, go get some coolant. That was the last video. Um, got all that straightened out. Fortunately, didn't break anything. No lasting damage as far as I can tell. Everything on the tractor seems to be working. And what I've started to do now is first I use the mower, that mower, to kind of just knock down all the vegetation that was here. Then I use the box blade, drug it back and forth to get as much of the vines and stuff up. And there are still just like some depressions in here that I want to fill in and level out. There's a big one right over here next to that little cedar tree just come out and then it like really drops down in that direction next to the cedar tree. So I want to get all that filled in. I want to have as level of a surface here as I can. And then right over here, this is actually where our electric service was brought in here a couple months ago. And this little trench that they had dug is very uneven. So I'm going to level out the top of that. Then since it's too late to grow any grass, we're going to cover this entire area in wood chips so that we can try to keep the mud down as best as possible through this um, this winter's this Christmas selling season. So that is the game plan today. We're going to do some box blading. Is that a thing? Box blading, scraping, leveling. We're going to bring in some fresh dirt. We're going to bring in some wood chips and we're going to make this area as good as we can for this year. So follow along. Let's have a little fun. Here we go. I know slope is kind of hard to tell on camera, it always is, but this still is sloped up in that direction quite a bit, and I'm not going to make up for it in wood chips. I just wanted to show you this to demonstrate. I got this long piece of lumber here, set it on the ground down there, and put this level on top, and it is right about there, 
is where we're level. So you can see how much more material I'd have to bring in here or how much I'd have to excavate over there in order to get this truly level. So we'll sort of make up the gap a little bit with some wood chips. I'll pile up a little bit more on this side. But where we're going to set our tent is right about here. And it's just going to have to be, you know, slightly unlevel. And I think it'll be just fine. We're glad the cattle pen's down. That opens up a whole bunch of extra space up here where we're going to have our tree lot. So stick around, subscribe, and get plugged in with our future videos because our next several videos are going to be finishing or well, starting and finishing setting up our tree lot. Stacy's actually right over here today getting a little bit of a start. She's hanging some lights up on the shed, some little Christmas lights, so that'll look festive. We've got to do some planning on um, how we're going to run electric around our tree lot. We're going to set up some floodlights and some Christmas lights and, um, or not, well, Christmas lights and other string lights. So stick around. If that's interesting to you, make sure you subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys.